things, Mimi. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. We are doing a cook with me. We are using an instant pot to make chicken noodle soup. If you do not have an instant pot, I'm like, what are you waiting on? Instant pot is probably like the best invention ever, and it, I just, I just love my instant pot. I probably use it nearly three to four times a week because I can cook healthy quick meals for my family without a whole lot of thought. So today I'm gonna to share one of those recipes with you, which is chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup. Add a soda on the side if you like. If you got that reference, leave me an emoji down in the comment section. I'm also gonna leave a link down there as well, uh, a link to an Instant Pot. So like if you don't have one already, you can go ahead and get one once you see how easy this recipe is. So let's get started. thing you want to do is go ahead and cut up your vegetables if you don't have a lot of time you can actually buy like carrots and celery and onions I forget what they call the mix but you can actually buy it frozen in the store so either chop your own veggies or get that frozen mix from the store and you want to go ahead and get your vegetables together um, grab a sprig of rosemary I actually picked that from my garden it actually um, is doing well in the cold weather so uh, but you will need a sprig of uh, rosemary as well as a few bay leaves Have my vegetables all cut up. I did end up adding about a clove of garlic. Here I have my season pre, uh, my season, my chicken pre-washed and seasoned. I did use bone-in chicken breast. Feel free to use boneless chicken breast if you like, but it was seasoned with kosher salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And there are my sprigs of rosemary. Next, you'll want to utilize the saute function on your instant pot, and you're going to melt about two tablespoons of butter. And once the butter gets hot, you want to go ahead and add in all of your cooked veggies and your garlic. It's going to smell so good. But just go ahead and saute that for a while until the vegetables soften a bit. And you start to smell the garlic get really fragrant. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and pour in about four and a half to five cups of chicken broth. And stir that in. And then you're going to put your chicken in. After you get your chicken in, drop in your rosemary sprigs. You should have already put in your bay leaves, but if you haven't, you wanna go ahead and add those in now. Now it's time to go ahead and set the pressure on the Instant Pot. Um, so you wanna set this to about 15 minutes. That's all you're gonna to need to get that chicken nice, juicy, and cooked. And once you have that set, go ahead and put the top onto the Instant Pot making sure that the nozzle is set to seal and not vent. You want it to seal so that it can build pressure. Once your 15 minutes is up, you want to go ahead and make sure that you vent it. Let all of the steam out before you open the top. And once you open the top, this is what you get. As you can see, the chicken has cooked down very tender. It's almost falling off the bone. And you're just going to basically remove the chicken. Um, also remove the rosemary sprigs and the bay leaves. Go ahead and remove those and then you'll take the chicken out. It's likely at this point that all the vegetables have kind of settled to the bottom. So just give it a good stir to get all the vegetables up and then you're gonna pour in about four and a half cups of egg noodles more if you want more noodles less if you like less noodles but nonetheless at this point you're going to go ahead and put your noodles in and then you're going to seal the instant pot back up and you're going to cook those noodles for maybe another 10 minutes or so now you want to take your chicken that you removed and you're just going to shred it uh, I used bone-in chicken breast. Um, I just like it because I think it's a juicier cut of meat. Um, but if you used boneless, then you would just shred it. You would need to separate it from the bone. But here I am just separating it from the bone. At that point, you just take 
um, two forks and just kind of shred it up. If you want to shred it a little bit finer, you can stick it into your mixer, which I normally do, but I didn't do it for this video. But then you're just going to pour the chicken back into the soup mix and you are all done. If you're feeling fancy, cut up some fresh parsley and just kind of drizzle that on the top. It adds another little bit of taste to it. But there is your 30 minute instant pot chicken noodle soup. I hope you guys give this a try. And thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you as a part of the community. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell. And I love a little thumbs up on this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on the next video.